everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Summer Careers Festival. It's day three and we're talking about access to employment. Please, 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 for those especially on Facebook Live, please share the link, get the information out there. We've got live job opportunities coming to you right now very soon 16 to 25 you're living in the west midlands you need to lock in parents quick grab your children get them to watch this facebook live right now thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you everybody for listening everyone that is viewing us and are in this zoom we thank you for joining us on day three of our summer careers festival my name is nathan dennis i am from an organization called first class foundation um, we're based in the west midlands birmingham we're here to help organizations um, effectively engage with different young people in different diverse communities. What today is all about access to employment. So our first speaker that we're going to introduce is a phenomenal employer that's based in our region who have live job opportunities and um, pathways. So if, it, you know, without further ado, I'm gonna ask if our speaker from um, Lander Automotives is ready to speak. Are you here? I am, yes, I'm ready to speak. Awesome. Please, Anita, over to you. Tell the wonderful listeners about the opportunities that you have around your talent pipeline, please. Okay, well, we've got an apprenticeship program that starts at um, level two qualification. And the reason why we start at level two is so that we can build in the skills and grow our talent pipeline. So anybody joining us is helping us to develop our own super superheroes that will start off in the classroom, get some academic training. They'll also get training on the shop floor. They will graduate um, all with the support of our provider, which is Dudley no! College. Uh, and once they've developed, uh, they then go get the possibility to uh, go further up the chain, which is to develop into different roles within the business. Fantastic, so, awesome, absolutely excellent. Have you got um, have have you got like literally opportunities now that are available in it? Currently, tech? yeah, we have. Currently, we recruit every eight weeks. We had to put it on hold because of COVID, but now we're starting recruiting again through Dudley College or through our own website, which is uh, www. Um, lander.co.uk uh, but as you can see on this slide it does it isn't just about doing a level two the opportunities to do a level three go into different areas of the business then go on to a level four and we're also yes. doing now taking people up to degree apprenticeship level so if you want to apply via NAS via Dudley College or via our own website then please do because we're going to be recruiting at least Hello. Eight to six people before the end of this year Awesome, fantastic, excellent. I don't know what this hello is, but hopefully we can find that person and remove them as soon as possible. That would be brilliant. Awesome. Anita, quick question before you go. Yeah. Why should someone come and consider working with you as an organization? Uh, well, we uh, the apprenticeship program we offer, I mean, they do get paid a fairly decent wage, not minimum uh, wage for apprentices, so they get a good wage. Yeah. Uh, but also they get um, some great work experience, there's some great teams here, they yep. can get fantastic qualifications, and they got the opportunity to grow into different roles. Um, and really they can become engineers they can be working hr they can go yeah. anywhere once they've done their first year within the factory wow that sounds fantastic i really want to thank you anita for your time thank you for giving us your information that has been brilliant very very useful can you just remind everyone of the contact details if they want to get in contact with you please yeah it's either www.lander.co.uk yeah dudley college or the nas website Fantastic. Thank you ever so much. I want to hear from no problem. now, um, all the way from Springboard Charity. Is Sharon here? Sharon, are you here? Okay. So basically, um, Springboard Charity have a, a digital hospitality ac academy, um, and this is the information. So if you have a look here, you can see the different... Um, skills they have different like support cv writing support they have digital coaching 
live webinars the lot of stuff here that they have so this is the information here so please look at their website here springboard.uk.net and forward slash dha but when Sharon comes back we will get some more context and information from her we're going to hear from the phenomenal amazing mr kanking kanking are you there sir i'm here what's good what's good um, i'm all right you know i'm not too bad not too bad did you hear those screams earlier <laughs> Did I did? Yeah, we can't see your face though. Where? Ah, oh, there you are. There you are. Are oh, you got your hoodie on? Ah, yeah. You, you in your hoodie? <laughs> yeah, no trim right now. Oh, no trim. So, are you still are you still sporting the um the quarantine look then? Yeah, very much so. I'm just sticking to guidelines out here, setting a good example. Okay, I, I love that. Uh, setting a good example for your followers, fantastic. So, for those who don't know you, can you just give us a snapshot of like who are you? And what do, does Kang King do? All right, cool. So my name is Kang King. Well, my name is Jaden, better known as Kang King. And uh, I'm a YouTuber from Birmingham. I started out making, you know, your basic, hey, what do you like type videos with a mic in hand in the middle of town. But now I've gone on to create much more interesting content. And um, I guess for the past three years, I've just been doing YouTube. So you probably came across my videos at some point yeah 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 awesome excellent so how because I, I can see that you've got your, your instagram and your youtube's growing how what subscribers are you doing and how did you kind of get into this and find your kind of purpose and career so uh, at the moment we're on 275 thousand subscribers and um around 50k wow. around followers if i'm being yeah. honest i don't really focus on instagram too much but um how i grew those numbers was um, I kind of took a step back and I just kind of looked at the scene as a whole and I understood what I needed to do to shine. I knew that I have to come through different and original. There's too yes. much of the same content on here and those people weren't really getting anywhere. So I decided mm -hmm. to get my own niche and then just run with that. Awesome. Why do you think an event like this, you know, today we're talking about access to employment and trying to get as many opportunities. So like throughout the week, on the first day on Monday, we talked about careers and finding your purpose, finding your fit. Yesterday, we were talking about access to like further education, getting into colleges and stuff like that. Today, we're really going to focus around jobs. You know, we've heard from um, two employers, well, Springboard Charity, who's going to come back and give us a, a bit more context, but Law and the Automotives. Why do you think it's so important for young people to apply themselves, get themselves active and in work from your perspective, Kanking? Um my perspective i think something like this is very beneficial because um one thing was when i was in school which was about last year yeah. um i was really excited for the idea of like a careers day type thing yeah but we didn't really get that in our school and i'm guessing a lot of other schools don't do it these days so to have something like this in place for the youth is great and i think it's also um a value that is um best learned from a young age because, yeah um I guess if you get everything handed to you, you kind of miss out on some valuable lessons you would have learned otherwise. Wow, wow, excellent, excellent, important. Is there any like final message? Because obviously, Kang King, I don't know how it seems from your perspective, obviously you're on social media and, um, you know, it's, you know, we've been in a, like a crazy year, you know, global pandemic. You know how some people are in society. Some people don't believe it's a pandemic or it's a pandemic. Regardless of people's positions, I know a lot of young people are following you. I know you've done a very successful event in the Bull Ring and literally like, you know, packed out the whole of Bull Ring just by yeah. you being there um, and announcing that you're going to be there. Like, is there anything that you would say to young people who are just probably just feeling quite frustrated um, and going through a lot through this time and probably thinking, you know what, September, I don't care. I'm just not going to do anything. Is there anything you'd like to say to them, please? Yeah, so funny enough, um, I actually listened to a speech from Ashley Belauchin. He's a UK actor uh, in 10, like a lot of the big movies. And there was something that he said yesterday that really stuck with me. Um, happy moments are there, but they will also pass. The same way you can look at a moment and say, that was the most painful moment of my life, but it will pass. So yeah. if you're frustrated this time at point, point in time, that's yes. okay because it will pass. Yeah. Everything will pass. Wow. I love that, Kang King. Kang King, I really want to thank you for your time. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting us. 
with this project and program we're, we're going to have much more stuff happening throughout the year and we just want to work with you as much as possible so i'll just say to you keep going keep you know doing what you're doing it's very inspirational we love what you're doing so thank you and on behalf of first class foundation and west Midlands combined authority we salute you and celebrate you yeah i appreciate it my brother Awesome, thank you. So what I'm gonna do now, everyone, we're gonna go back and hear from um, Sharon from Springboard Charity, just to give a bit of context about the opportunities that they have currently in the West Midlands. Sharon, are you there? I am, thanks, Nathan. No problem. So could you tell our oh, listeners yeah. quickly um, about the opportunities that you have and how young people can get involved, please? Yeah, 100%. So at Springboard, we support people into work in hospitality. So hospitality um, isn't hospitals. It is anything such as working in a bar, a restaurant, working in a hotel, um, working in the likes, you know, a fast food joint, anything like that, Nando's. Um, so we are running our Digital Hospitality Academy. So everything that you do, you do online. So you don't have to come and find a venue and sort yourself out there. It's all done online at the moment. So if I could ask you just to flip to the next slide. No problem. Thank you. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Um, so if you're thinking of going into hospitality and it might be that you just want a bit of a, a stopgap, something to do at the minute, it might be that you're thinking of it as a great career. So I made my career out of it for the last 20 years. So yeah, yeah. Love hospitality. Um, then the digital hospitality is a great way of kind of finding out more, finding out about the roles. You get employability support, so the likes of CV writing, cover letters. We can sort you out with mock interviews with industry experts that will give you feedback. Yeah. There's some really cool, funky kind of training programs. So there's a cocktail mixing, um, gins and how to do the pour, perfect pour. Tells you all about different spirits and things like that as well in the program. So it's really informative, really educational. And ultimately, we will then support you after you've been through the program to get you into work, working in hospitality as well. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So can I actually like, because um, I know a lot of young people are like, um, I don't know if you've heard the saying, um, that sounds like, a, I think they'll say a long thing or a long thing. Um, yeah. How long is it before you actually can get work? Because a lot of young people want to make money and they want to make it now. So how long is the process? 100%. So the academy is two weeks. So the commitment that we need from you is to be able to join the live webinars. Everything else can be done at a time that suits you around that. So because it's all online, you can do it at times that suits you. It can all be done on an app on a smartphone as well. So it's really easy to kind of get onto. Um, and then it's just a case of us finding the right job for you. So we don't want to just kind of put you into a job that you're going to hate and feel like it's a dead end job. It's about mm -hmm. us working with you to find out what it is that that you're looking for and get you into that job that if you want it as a career, you've really got the progression to grow into. So it's not going to be a quick fix. It's not like come on the two week course, you'll have a job. Um, yeah. But it's about us really finding that long term solution. And it might take a month. It might happen straight away. I've had people that have started the course and within the course, they've managed to get employment. So it just depends wow. on you as an individual. Thank you, Sharon. I want to thank you so much for your time and for your contribution today. We really, really appreciate you. Thank no you. Thank you very much, guys. Best of luck. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. So up next, we're going to have another speaker um, coming up um, all the way from the NHS um, University Hospital. Are you there, Peter? I am here, thank you. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Um, right. Tell us what opportunities do you have and why should people consider joining the NHS? Uh, I think during this last year, you've had a pretty good idea why you might want to join the NHS because Definitely. there's been a lot of people doing a lot of good jobs um, and helping a lot of people to live and get strong and have better lives. And some things have been sad and horrible, but do you know, can I just go back in time? When I, I left school with no qualifications and I really didn't do anything with my life until I was in my thirties and the jobs I had were awful. The kind of thing you just did for money and then you didn't even turn up half the time because yeah. it, the money wasn't enough. It, the job was just too depressing. I worked in factories, I worked in Father Christmas grottos, I worked in um, uh, horrible warehouses just horrible. I hated work. I've been working here for 15 years now, and I can honestly say I love working for the NHS. Wow. Everything I do 
has an emotional payback. So I don't just get wages, I get to go home feeling like I'm doing something useful with my life and that everyone's benefiting. And then they're passing that on to everyone else. So it's perfect for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm lifelong learning fan because when I only got my first qualifications when I was in my thirties um, and I'm now in my fifties. So I've been building up the experience and the qualifications along the way. Um, so if you are thinking, as you were saying before, um, this year's a bit rubbish, I'm not going to do anything. Before I even go into what we're offering, put this in your head. I realize now that I wasn't being a friend to myself when I was 18. And when I was 30, I still wasn't being a friend to myself. It was only after 30. You've got to look after your future. Yeah. Don't write everything off and wait for five, 10 years. Because if you're like me, you got lucky and it worked out. But a lot of people just carry on doing not very good things and horrible mm -hmm. jobs for a very long time because they don't think there's any room for them left anywhere. But in the NHS, for instance, we are very much about learning, development, lifelong learning, you enjoying your job, um, passing that on to other people. Mm -hmm. The wheel goes round and it's a, it's a feel good wheel. It works for everybody. But let me just go back quickly to um, what we do, because that might be interesting too. What we do is we um, train people to get into work in the NHS. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we train people to get into work in the NHS. Uh, at the moment, because of the whole COVID situation, we are doing uh, online learning two hours a day for one week. And then after that, you get one-to-one -one sort of guidance with tutors. You come to small sessions. You'll learn about the NHS, public health care, patients, um, staff, all the different job roles. You'll learn about the things that you really need to know to get an interview in the NHS. You'll learn an awful lot. And you'll also learn an awful lot about the most important thing in the world, which is you because we need to train you how to do application forms properly, but how to live up to them at interview and how to know who you are in terms of not just what you can do and what you like to do, but who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. One of the most important qualities you can have working in a hospital is that you care for people, not just because you're coming for some money and a, a steady job, that you care for people. Uh, and we get a lot of people we've had since 2004, five we've had about three thousand people get into work through us um, so it's been really successful all those people have one thing in common they don't just want a job they want to do something that matters to them that makes an impact they care about people and they just want to do a job that they love fantastic so very quickly though training package uh 12 weeks long um You'll get guidance all the way through. You'll get mentoring. We'll make sure that everything's flowing for you. If, you. if you're lagging, if something's not working for you, you talk to us, we work with you to make it happen. Um, I think more than anything, be a friend to yourself in the future. Don't put off your future this year. I was terrible when I was younger. 18, I was going to do it when I was 25. And then mm -hmm. So yeah. be a friend to your future because it is coming. It will happen. I like that. Be a friend to your future. Everyone that's listening, can you just type that in? That's a, that's a, like a very important quote. Be a friend to your future. Excellent, Peter. Are these the contact details on the screen, yeah, that people can get in um, contact? Yes, and I'm gonna, I'll just stick it into the chat box as well. You can email us there and I'll put the phone number. Awesome. Peter, I want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for telling us about the opportunities. And you're saying it's a 12-week program that can get you into the NHS, yeah? 12-week program, awesome. beginning jobs, and you don't need many qualifications or experience. Some you do, some you don't. But basically, they're just looking for the right kind of person, and that's eager, willing to work, and caring. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Peter. You're welcome. Awesome. Bye excellent, bye. excellent. So up next now, we're going to hear one more, and then we're going to have a bit of a break, um, a bit of a quiz that we're going to, we've got ready for you. Um, the next person we're going to hear from is from Flannery Plant. Are you there, Paul? Are you there? I am indeed. Thank you. And, um, thanks for inviting me today. Um, no problem. How are you, very... you, Paul? Hello? How are you, Paul? I'm very well. How are you? 
Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm good, good. I'm good, thank you. Yep. Good. Um, well, thanks for inviting me just to say a few words about Flannery Plant. So we're, we're the um, UK's largest plant hire company, and that essentially means we uh, we operate a lot of diggers and machines that you can see on the screen. Uh, we have about 3,500 machines uh, across the country. Um, but we've newly opened a depot uh, in the West Midlands area, and we're opening up a training centre where we're going to have in autumn, this autumn, um, plenty of job opportunities and apprenticeship op opportunities to, to become uh, a plant operator. And what people don't know about plant operators is there's a significant shortage of plant operators. So uh, we're trying to recruit more uh, people into the industry, uh, recruit local talent into the industry. Mm -hmm. And what people don't know is that actually, because there is a shortage, the, the wages are pretty good. So you can be, a, as an experienced operator, you can be earning anywhere between 40 and 60,000 pounds a year once you're fully qualified. Um, can you, can you, can we've been you, working yeah, closely yeah, with um, colleges in the West Midlands to try and uh, attract people into the industry uh, and, and articulate the career pathways that are available, um, particularly linked to big infrastructure projects like you know uh, motorways and, and HS2. Um, there's a lot of uh, drivers uh, that are required for, for these projects. So we, we're trying to um, widen our talent pool and, and recruit more uh, young people, uh, women, people from uh, black and ethnic uh, minorities into the business. Uh, and that's really our, um, you know, resin d'etre to widen that talent pool. And we've been doing lots of uh, careers, affair, careers fairs over the last few years. And in lockdown, we've been doing similar sort of things like this uh, in, on, on LinkedIn and Facebook, where we talk about uh, flannery plant hire and careers in construction and plant and just try and... Uh, make it exciting for people. Uh, we, we, we go around the country with simulators where the people can have a go on on, on machines and, and, and test the metal themselves. Um, so really what, what, what we're about is trying to, we're, it's still a family run business. It's run by the three Flannery brothers, um, nearly 50 years old now. Um, wow. And we're trying to, um, uh, you know, attract new talent and local talent into, into the industry. That's fantastic. Paul, you said something that you just skipped over and I need to challenge you on it, mate. Yeah. You said the starting salaries. Can you repeat that again, please? And slow it right down. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was trying to, trying to get a lot in there. Um, when, you're, when you're a fully qualified operator, so when you've got all your, your various tickets for different machines, you can be earning between 40 and 60,000 pounds per year. Wow. That's, that, that's, that's some good money. Some good dash that, isn't it? Very much so. And people don't know about it. I think when you go into colleges and schools and people talk about construction, they think about bricklaying, carpentry or, or gas, uh, or electrical and plumbers. They don't think about infrastructure and, and, and road building and, and project building where you need machine drivers. And there's a huge shortage of machine drivers. And we're trying to attract uh, new talent into the industry, as I said, um, and, you know, build that wider talent pool because historically, um, People just haven't known about the careers in construction. And as I said, the types of salaries, salaries that you can earn are really quite, um, you know, I think people are incentivized by that. Um, it's also very, you know, I've been in the business um, over three years now, and it's just, it's, it's still a family run business. It's, it's really good camaraderie, good wow. spirit, good career opportunities. Uh, and, and as I said before, the money's pretty good. Fantastic. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Paul, I really want to thank you for your time. Um, thank you for the information. That's really eye-opening. And um, I hope people get in contact with you ASAP. Thank you, no, sir. No worries. Thank you for the time. Cassandra, are you there? Hello, Cassandra. I am here. I'm just trying to find a place to sit. So why are you not sitting? Why are you not, why are you not ready? No, I am. I'm, I was ready and then it just got a bit catapult. But it's cool. I'm here. It's fine. I'm going to just sit right here. <laughs> is this part of your comedy? This part, what you've just done? Yeah. This is part, this was the standoff. There you go. You got, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hi. So who, who are you, Cassandra? Give us a bit of a, a taste about who you are. Um, well, my name's Cassandra. I do comedy. I'm a presenter and I do content creation content creation what does that mean so just imagine I don't, i've just come from space and you're telling me about content creation what does that mean content creation is where you make stuff um 
for the internet, but it, well, for me, it's for the internet, but you can make, um, you can write, that's content creation, writing blog posts, uh, pictures, photography, that's creating content, uh, videos, um, anything that is for other people to see, creating content, TV shows is content, you know, music is content. But me, I do comedy content. So how do you get into comedy? Like, how did you find your kind of career stroke purpose? I don't know if this is your purpose, but how did you find it? Oh, do you really? This is this is part of what I wanted to say. Um, but the way that I got into it is I just started doing it one day. I started making videos online. Um, there was no intention behind it. I just started to do it. And then I thought, oh, maybe I can turn this into comedy sketches. So I did. And then I thought, maybe I should try stand up. So I did. Um, and it's just been a progression of just thinking, yeah, let me try out that and see if I like it. Let me try out that and see if I like it. So I kind of fell into it. It was never like a lifelong dream. Um, okay. I just doing it. Oh, excellent. And you're doing quite well. I can see you um, growing your profile nice and steadily. Um, obviously, today is around access to employment and getting young people focused. You know, the whole Summer Careers Festival is around trying to engage with young people in our region. And obviously, we've had a lockdown, you know, we've had the, the, the Black Lives Matter. There's, there's just mm. so much stuff happening this year. And I can't even imagine, like, tomorrow we're going to be talking about well-being and, and mental health and stuff like that. But what would you say to a young person who's probably in the valley of decision around career and thinking about employment? We've heard about some employers already. What is any words of encouragement that you could give to our young people that are listening on Facebook Live as well as being in this group? I would say, um, first of all, don't ever stress yourself out about it. Um, at any age ever, not just young people, but older people, anyone, you just don't stress yourself out about it and try everything. Never rule anything off. If you feel like you see someone do something and you think, oh, that looks really cool, I might want to try that, just give it a go. Use what you can, what is around you. I used to, um, before I started doing videos, I wanted to do videos when I was about 19, 20. I'm 27 now. I started when I was 24, 25. Yeah. yeah, 25. But I spent five years of my life saying, I can't do videos because I don't have the right camera. I don't have this. I don't have that. When yeah. in reality, I could have just used what I had and just did it, but I didn't. So you just do what you can with what you've got and you just try everything because you never know what your purpose is going to be. You could be the best singer on the planet, but until you try it, you ain't going to know. You know what I mean? Wow. wow. would really be the greatest nurse on the planet, but until you take up that course and try it for a bit and realize, ah, this isn't for me, or ah, this is for me, you're just not going to know. So I'd just say, try anything, never rule anything out because you never know what you're actually good at and where your purpose is. Wow. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. If anyone's listening and you can see, just get your reaction and just either do the hand clap or thumbs up just to make sure that you're engaging. So, Cassandra. I want to really thank you for your time. Where are you? I'm just so intrigued. You look like you're in a college. That I'm just being... <laughs> looks like, where are you? I'm at work, so I'm a radio presenter at the moment, and I manage the social media channels for my station. Oh, so, okay. um, yeah, I'm at work. You look a bit like Southfield in college, like some of the colours in the Doesn't it? But it's actually just the kitchen. That's the, okay. uh, the kitchen, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Fantastic, yeah. So, yeah, everyone's heard it from Cassandra. Thank you so much for your time. Excellent, excellent. No DJ Five Star Kid, over to you. So, as the DJ is playing in the background, um, I just want to give you some announcements. So, for those who are in the chat, who made it in because we've locked the room, um, I want to ask you a question. The rules are, though, for these three questions, you can win about £25 as a voucher. I may actually up it and make it £50 because I want to have some interaction. So the first thing I want you to do is answer these three. No, this is the only thing I want you to do. Is answer three questions quickly, as fast as you can. And the person who puts the fastest answer into the chat will win a £25 gift voucher. Yeah? So the three questions are, are you ready? Are you by the typing? The fastest questions that our admin sees, the person who answers the fastest will win the voucher. So on my t-shirt, hopefully you all can see it, I've got some figures, 4.2 million. Listen, you have to be under the age of 24 to enter this, by the way, all right? None of the adults. On my t-shirt, you've got 4.2 million. What does that 
stand for. Question number two, who is the biggest employer in the West Midlands? And question number three, what is the quickest and fastest growing Birmingham-based fashion business go? What does the 4.2 million mean on my T-shirt? Number two, who is the biggest employer in the West Midlands? And number three, right, what is the fastest Birmingham-based fashion business in Birmingham right now? Quick, quick, quick. If you're on Facebook, I'm going to allow you to enter as well. Claudia, please look on our Facebook if someone answers it quicker than in our chat. One minute left. If those are on Facebook Live listening, I know yours is actually delayed, so I'll probably let you off. But all I need to know is the answer to three questions. What does 4.2 million mean on my T-shirt? Who is the largest employer in the West Midlands? And number three, what is the fastest growing fashion business in Birmingham? Come on, quick, quick, let's get some answers. Let's try. Let's try, let's try. Interact. One minute, starting now. Time on. Go. Nearly close, nearly close. I can see some answers, but no. You've got, I can tell you, you've got two answers right. What we need the right answer. You're nearly there, Mr. Walsh. Keep going, keep going. 40 seconds left. I'm gonna check Facebook if anyone's answering. So for the chance to win £25 gift voucher, Mr. Walsh, do you know? No, 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 no. You, you've got the first two questions right. Let's just see if anyone else, I'll uh, open it up to everyone that's in here. What are the three answers that I want? Quick as possible, let's go. He won our last competition in terms of a press-up challenge. <laughs> so when we was actually physically, um, our last challenge that we did was a press-up challenge. And Mr. Lindsay <laughs> literally press up, you know, one of these young people doing press ups. And he's also got the right answers. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everyone do their clapping hands for James. <laughs> oh, well done, James. Well done. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, what, what it means, 4.2 million is the population in the West Midlands. Um, number two, the largest employer in our region is an NHS. And the fastest growing fashion business is Jim Shaw. So thank you, James, for that. Excellent. So um, without further ado, we're going to go on to our next speaker um, now. So um, to get some more information around jobs and opportunities happening in our region. Do we have Sharon from Birmingham Soil Home Mental Health Foundation Trust? Are you there? I am indeed. Hi, Nathan. How are you doing? You all right, Sharon? Oh, well, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, not too bad, you know, not too bad. Can you see my um, nice summary shirt? I tried to bring the summer energy into um, tonight's online or this afternoon's online event. <laughs> You're absolutely bringing it. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So tell us about your opportunities that you have. Well, nice introduction. So being an NHS organisation, um, our, our specialism is mental health trust. And as you've already mentioned, we're the largest employer in the UK, fifth in the world. And obviously we're going through a pandemic. So where was your career go? Let's come to the NHS. So what's on offer? We have a range of qualifications and apprenticeships and roles. So our apprenticeships start off, um, we have working on reception desks, being care assistants, nurses, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, midwives, yeah. dental nurses, accountancy, lots and lots and lots. So every job you could imagine, we actually cover in the NHS. Well, there'll be a couple of exceptions, but there's a huge range of roles that we offer. Yeah. As Peter mentioned earlier, Peter, as an organisation and team, they have many introduction paths into NHS roles. So for those of you, those of you who haven't got the qualifications you wanted in your GCSEs this year, because I've seen obviously some of the questions and queries come up on the message feed, yeah. more opportunities. So typically, a lot of the um, qualifications you need to join an apprenticeship in the NHS would be your functional skills. Yes. So refer back to Peter's presentation to get contact numbers or go to your local colleges 
because we as NHS organisation link into all of our local um, colleges and universities in order to make sure that we've got seamless transition of our learners. Um, so as in terms of ages, so I've mentioned about what's on offer, qualifications, the age, to come in to be an accountant or to uh, work in an office, you're looking to be 16 plus. So thinking about your target audience on the call today, if you wanted to go into a nursing role, we're looking to be adult, uh, an adult, which would be 18 plus. Um, an apprenticeships offer, you will typically start in an apprenticeship at £10,000 a year, but you're not paying, so that's, that's your money. Um, so that's your salary, all of your college and universities are paid for. Um, and then the levels of training op opportunity. So entry level roles are typically from level twos and level threes. So thinking about equivalents to GCSEs or with the level threes equivalent to A levels. So quickly as an apprentice, you will gain the expertise and qualifications, which is which is of, often misunderstood. Uh, and it goes all the way up to a master's qualification, which is your level seven. So very quickly, you could come into the NHS in one profession and decide that you want to change into another. I was recently speaking to one of our fabulous apprentices uh, and she's working in HR and she's showed a particular interest to become a nurse. So she's already coming to the NHS looking at one career, which will take her uh, and she could very quickly with all those transferable skills move into another. So it doesn't mean to say you come in doing one career and that's where you stay. So it's very flexible for lots of learning. OK, uh, and then how do you contact us? Well, our jobs are on different portals, uh, which is the National Apprenticeship Services or NAS, as it's known as the acronym. We also have the um, NHS jobs. So anybody looking for careers in the NHS jobs. And then we also have a website, which is Bright Horizons, which is brand new. And that will give you lots of opportunities, not just to get into the NHS, yeah. but also with our health and social care colleagues. So they're the local councils, so Birmingham City Council and Solihull. Metropolitan Council and West Midlands Combined Authority, as you may know, who are sponsoring today's event. So currently on that website, there's in excess of 100 jobs. Now, many of them may need experience and qualifications, but that's just to give you a taster of the jobs that, which are up and coming. And all the apprenticeships, they're, they're on a rolling programme. So it's not just in one particular month or through an academic year. So please stay alert and looking at all of our websites. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much, Sharon, for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate you. You're very awesome. welcome. No, good luck. Excellent. Thank you. So we're gonna hear now, um, last but not least, from an amazing organization called Youth Employment UK. So do we have our representative ready to speak, please? Yeah. How are you doing, Kim? How are you I'm doing? Just asked, how are you? Not too bad, you know, not too bad. Did you hear, Kim? Was you here and you heard the, um, laughing at the start of the um, of our Zoom? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, my God, are we going to go for a Zoom bomb? <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> I was like, drum roll, heart was beating. How are you today? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, you know, not too bad. So tell us about Youth um, Employment UK, please. So Youth Employment UK is a not-for-profit social enterprise. So we support young people um, with their journey to employment. So we do a lot of career advice. We also support um, young people in different ways. So we have things like a booklet that is when you're looking for work, we have CV tips, but we also provide training for young people, um, especially with employability skills. So you'll see the picture on the screen um, is what we call our journey to work. So yes. it's um, part of our young professional. So we have a young professional, which is five key core training, which is employability skills for young people. Um, the uh, age range for that is 14 to 24 to so anyone between them age brackets and even older. There are other great resources as well. And you could access if you were slightly older, but primarily that's where we are based. And we have this journey to employment, which we um, use as buckets. We think that's the best way for young people to visualize the different things you do need to um, reach your employment goal. So as you can see, there's so many different things. There's seven key steps. Um, so we say that every time you fill your bucket, you become a bit more of a young professional. So for a young person, for example, they might have a little bit of at, um, good positive attitude. They have a bit of employability skills. They might have a few qualifications and training. But once you've filled your bucket once, that doesn't mean you're going to stop filling it because as you get older, you will continue to develop your skills. You will continue to grow as a person and you'll, you still grow in your career. This is just the foundation of what we think young people should be pushing towards. 
So this is a great way for young people to look at where they are, how they, they can move forward. Maybe there's something that they lack, so maybe management skills. So they can come onto our website, find a lot of key skills about um, how Youth Employment UK rec uh, recommends about doing it. Yeah. So on our website, as I said, there's so many articles about CV writing, um, as I said, they're looking for work booklet, and we just provide a lot of support and guidance for young people, um, particularly at this point in time with August being results day. We've provided yeah. some great resources for young people about not to stress, about here's what you can do, um, your next steps, and here's some um, career and advice and guidance about how you can then go about what you're going to do after receiving your results. Fantastic. Can I ask you a question, Kim? Yeah, of course. Um, you can. I, I love this model in terms of filling your bucket because you find that different types of young people can have a lot of tons of experience you could say in their book it's full of experience but they lack the attitude or they can have great attitude but lack qualification and I like this because it's it's a bit of each that you need to fill your bucket um could you tell us a bit more about emotional capacity and what you, you mean um at youth unemployment I mean youth employment UK not unemployment youth employment UK so the emotional capability is just to have that sense of okay well what are, what are people saying so things like constructive criticism um have a feeling um for example if a work colleague for example was feeling a bit down knowing how to be a good person yeah. um how to, how you're going to get them through it because actually you become a lot more um valuable uh, valuable to an employer you become a lot more part of the team you become a young professional by being able yeah. to deal with different situations but in a workplace so if you have that emotional capability, you're then able um, to actually use it in your workplace a lot more and have that empathy, the sympathy, yeah. all them sort of bits really. I to love that. Them. So what you're kind of saying, Kim, is that for young people who are listening or in, on this platform live, it's so important to kind of try and talk about your emotional um, strengths in terms of your ability to understand people's feelings and make, you know, creating a nice working environment and being able yeah, to... Well, um, yeah, I love that. Because one one key skill that everybody knows about is um, teamwork. And I think obviously then teamwork is will come under that. But we what we think we would love to say today is that no matter what young people got in their results, whether that be A level, whether that is um, GCSE, or whether you're on a completely different path right now, it doesn't matter. A lot of um, employers now do look for skills. They if you, they see that you are building your skills, building your qualifications and everything they they will look at you as a different young professional and that's why we have a young um, on our website there is a young professional or you can also use um, join as a youth ambassador to get some work experience with youth employment uk um but it's just it's just a great way for young people to build their skills um but these are all our contacts we have a wide range of um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and our website, of course. Um, and you can find some great resources to help you no matter where you are on your journey to employment. Wow. Kim, I really want to say thank you so much for just, that was amazing. That's really good. Loving the diagram. It's very, very clear. It shows you all the different elements because some people are applying for jobs, but they're probably not realizing that they're not coming across them. They may be coming across. Let's go back to that slide, actually. You know, the, you know, I really like this. It's just very clear. It's very visual. Um, and you, you need all of these kind of seven areas to be, you know, um, to showcase yourself better. Which yeah, really and like. young people might not have a bit of everything, or maybe they do, but you will continue, as you go into your employment journey, you're all, all you're just going to do is continue to grow. So you might then either fill a second bucket, bucket or a third bucket, when yeah. I was um, leaving college, I thought I had all my buckets filled. I thought, great, you know what? I'm at the top of my game. I know exactly what I want to do, exactly where I want to be. But actually going into a workplace, I realized there's a lot more I learn. There's a lot more you gain from experience and just actually enjoying your workplace as well. And that all then builds, uh, fills a second bucket and my buckets will continue to fill as I um, continue my career path. Fantastic, fantastic. Kim, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you. Um, I'm wishing everyone at Youth um, Employment UK, you know, like all the best. And I'll just quickly say a shout out to uh, Laura Jane, um, who I know is your CEO. Um, so, yeah, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. DJ Five Star Kid, are you there? Yeah, yeah. 
So we're going to get ready to wrap up, but we're going to not just wrap up without giving people the opportunity that is based on if you're watching through Facebook Live, if you're in this Zoom, um, please ask any questions now or forever hold your peace. Over to you, DJ. Thank all of our contributors today. We really appreciate you. Thank you for all the employers. Please, um, this is live stream. It's available on our Facebook page, First Class Foundation UK. Please, for the people who are going to rewatch this, please share this link with your friends, with your family. Um, you know, everything is just amazing. All the opportunities are there. Please, young people, I do not want to see young people within our community, within society, telling me that there's nothing to do, there's nothing to get involved with. Listen, this hashtag Summer Careers Festival has literally been, you know, destroying all those myths. There are lots of things that you can get involved with, especially coming up with September. I want to thank everyone for listening. Those who have attended the Zoom, we had to lock off, lock this Zoom earlier than anticipated. So what I'm going to ask for those who are going to join us for our final day tomorrow, which is all about well-being, is I'm asking you try and come on time because by about quarter past, we are going to lock the room. We know that there was many trying to join us, but just for security and safety, we need to lock the room and keep everybody safe. And we are live streaming, so we have to make sure that everything's you know done in an orderly way. So for those on Facebook, we're going to say thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us. Please share the information. Remember, use the hashtag, hashtag Summer Careers Festival. There's lots of content that's out there, especially on West Midlands Combined Authorities, Twitter channels and Instagram channels, different videos from, from careers employers all throughout the week. So please check out the content and engage with it and give us feedback, you know, chat to us on our socials and we will, you know, happy to hear from you. So to those on Facebook, we're going to say thank you and have enjoyed the rest of your day.